Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another LibGDX Quick Tips video where today I'll be going over sound effects inside your Android games. So your sound effects can be in, in any uh, form that LibGDX uses including mp3, ogg and .web files. If your sound effect is over one megabyte, we'll have to create a music object, but I'll show you how to do that as well. So place your sounds inside your assets folder like any other asset. I have button.ogg and ski music. Now to create a sound ed object, we just need to write private sound sound. And same thing with music. Let's call that music. And then to load your sounds in the create method, we can go ahead audio using gdx.audio.new sound and then putting our files to gdx.files.internal giving it this path our sound being button.ogg and similar thing for the music with gdx.files.internal and a path of ski music dot wav and to go on ahead and play our music we just need to go music dot play and music dot set volume one point zero f being maximum volume so I'll set that to zero point two which is the fifth And we can also set the looping to so that's a true. And then underneath that, I'll set the play. Ooh. For our sound effects, I have to go and create a new ID. I'm going to say when our input's touched, we'll create this sound effect. So I need to create an ID equals sound ooh, sound dot play, uh, giving that a volume. You can also set the pitch, sound.setPitch, using the ID and for example 2, so it's 2 times the original pitch, sound.set looping as well, I'm just going to say false, so we're going to put our ID in as well, so ID false. There you go, so like our other textures and whatnot we need to go and dispose so we can call sound.dispose and music.dispose go ahead and run that just quickly I've noticed a little mistake here so we've, because we've set up the objects here we don't have to call sound and music again so I'll remove those and it should all be working now can run the app As you can hear, the sound, the music in the background, and every time we touch, plays the sound. So uh, thanks for watching this episode of LibGDX Quick Tips. If you have any questions about what I've gone through today, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.